This is my 2010 Halloween display. It's completed. They're all the way in the side yard. But this is the pumpkin patch part. A whole bunch of various blown blown pumpkins. Can't see it, but there's a card here. I can't see right there. And pumpkin stacks and empire pumpkins and general foam pumpkins, TPI pumpkins, Union Scarecrow, pumpkins up in the tree, general foam from Walmart. Oh, I just got this one. I didn't post an update or anything. It's an empire ghost. And then we walk down. Here we just have a little bear. It's just sitting there. And on the post we have a Halloween pole and cobwebs there. I really like this. Union products. When we go back we have this bush with cobwebs. I'll probably have a spotlight on this in Halloween night. There's this Halloween bush. And the front step with two Victorian Halloween candles. It's my chill. Jack Liner. At Halloween, I'm actually going to have like psycho props and blood. This is not supposed to be scary, but this will be. With blood and ghosts and ghouls and stuff there. It's supposed to be like. And over here, we have a TPI pumpkin pet. Drainage top hat ghost and the cemetery. <laughs> Union graves. Oh, look, it was the yeah. various tombstones in the back. That's the Haunted Valley Cemetery. The sign doesn't light up. And then we have the line of monsters. And over here, we have the beaches part of the display. That's a new one. And I have tons more for the treehouse on Halloween, but it's all like animated props that I can't put up because they're not waterproof, but this is what I have so far. a pirate theme this year, so yeah, a parrot, a uh, pirate guy there. I'm gonna have like skull lights and pirates breaking on the ground and eerie pirate music, so. So yeah, it is my 2010 Halloween. <laughs>